Hey folks, how's it going, Dr. Spin? In my quest to find the best albums for 2021, I've been working through these weekly eliminations. Many of these are albums that I've already vetted and have been listening to for quite a while, and so I can kind of advocate for both of them, but only one shall go on to the top 20 for, for this year. So uh, on this side, I've got Rafael Anton Irisari's album, Solastasia. And on this side, I've got the compilation album, Gabriel Roth and the Mirrors, Selected Works, 1985 to 2005. Solastalgia is an album that is inspired by cultural tone of, of climate change. It's kind of an album that's steeped in some feelings uh, of, of dread and of wonder and of excitement and of sorrow. And I think it really gets at all these things in a very unique way. What makes this album so distinctive, and for some folks maybe even a little bit impenetrable, is its attack on sound possibilities. Uh, the album itself almost borders on white noise about 80% of the time, with these really beautiful like glacial melodies that sort of shift on the inside of it. Uh, and it's a thing that starts off kind of at a whisper. It doesn't seem like it would be much. It doesn't seem like it would be very effective. But throughout the album, this mechanism of, of just expanding on the the intensity of that sound, the combination of almost white noise and kind of like orchestral synthesizers put, put, put back to back is actually incredibly moving and it kind of plays mind games with me. If you listen to this album on headphones, it, it does some funny things to my head where I'm just like, I get lost in the sound and I find it very moving from the very first second I put it on. Okay, and in comparison to that, you've got um, Gabrielle Roth's album here. It's a compilation of, of songs from Gabrielle Roth, who uh, was a dancer, and she kind of cultivated this, this drum circle, jam circle called the Mirrors. And the Mirrors were, or, were, was a group that would back her sort of uh, free dancing experiments, or free dancing classes. And then went on to record these, several of these tracks. So um, this is an album that has a very specific purpose, and I think that it, it, it achieves that purpose very well. It's mood-inducing music with uh, kind of gentle grooves that are designed to kind of make you feel like you, you'd like to move a little bit, but not like dance music in like the, the, the club sense, right? Um, and I really like this album too a lot. This is actually one that gets a lot of play because it's, uh, it's, it's something that I can play in front of the family in public um, that serves the purpose of creating mood without getting out in the way. But it's also, again, very interesting to listen to. Has great improvisational moments from, from horn players and, and sitar players. So a great disc that I really enjoy a lot, but as far as just emotional capacity goes, I've got to go with Soul Nostalgia. This album, despite being one that may be a little bit uh, impenetrable at first, the average listener um, is, I think, really amazingly moving. So i got to go with Soul Nostalgia on this one. So check them both out. See what you think. And if you like one of them more than the other, please let me know below. Uh, I'll be putting more of these videos out this week, so please like and subscribe and share the video out with your friends. And until I see you next time, catch on the flip side.